Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. And this is your Excel Guru today with a new formula uh, called VLOOKUP with conditional formatting. This is something uh, uh, on an advanced level, I can you can even call it hard. And this is something to do with highlighting specific cells or rows or columns in Excel wherein certain formulas are found to be true all right i have already done some formatting on this so i'm going to remove it so first of all what we are going to learn is we're going to learn how to remove conditional formatting we go to conditional formatting we go to clear rules and clear rules from selected cell now i want to uh, uh, i want to uh, apply a rule wherein say this is the name of a student mike and these are the subjects and these are the marks he has obtained and these are the passing marks for all these subjects now I want to highlight those subjects wherein he got less than passing marks alright those should be coded in red color so we'll see how to do that now to do that we need to use the VLOOKUP function with the conditional formatting now to do that first of all what we need to do is we need to select the complete area where the formatting has to be done now what we want to do is we want to color this row based on a condition that this mark and this subject are less than the passing marks all right so how we are going to do it we are going to suggest select this complete range then we need to go to conditional formatting then we go to new rule and once we go to new rule we need to choose user formula and here we need to type is we, we need to first of all refer to which cell condition are we looking at which is the basic thing due to which the for conditional formatting has to be done that is based on the number passing marks so let's click over here then this should be less than this only then it should be red all right so we put a less than sign now this is where we look up comes in we look up bracket open where does it need to look what does it need to look it needs to look this formula this uh, this value all right however i would be since this these are i would be have to remove one dollar because i want this to be able to the formula to be able to move down when i select it so i need to look search in the subject name and then comma and which range where does it need to look it needs to look over here so i select this comma comma two because uh, this is the second column over here which i am looking at two comma zero bracket close and then we go to format yes this is where it is so format is automatic black color and the fill should be red and I click OK this is how it would look like and I click OK and there it is say voila I have done it for just for the second time wonderful thing see uh, it has highlighted those rows where the marks of Mike were less than 20 based on specific subjects isn't it cool it is yes and yes uh, this is in response to one of my friends question that I saw on LinkedIn so this is a video response to that hope my friend this is helpful to you this training file is available for free download on my website uh, excelmadeeasy.weebly.com and this is my website uh, this is my youtube channel you can click over here and subscribe by sign in or sign up so whenever there is a new video i'll you will be able to know and this is my website you can go over here go to the training files and download the training file this is again totally free I just do it for fun I like to share my knowledge and if you think what I'm doing right then friend please go ahead and follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook it will help me in spreading the word it was a pleasure uh, giving this session I hope it's uh, it, it was helpful to you too so this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day goodbye